Hello. <coughs> How you doing, Daniel? Hello, Zach. How are you? I'm good. Good morning. Good morning. It's very early, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Where are you? Where are you from? Where? Where's your city? Oakland, California. Oakland, California. Here is mid uh, midday. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Hey, Daniel. Who's Daniel? Dan Daniel. Barros. <laughs> I'm Daniel. But there's ah Danilo is different than Daniel. Yeah. Daniel. Danilo. Danilo. Yeah. Yeah, hello. How are you doing? I'm fine. And how about you? Oh, I'm good. Where are you from? I'm from Brazil. Oh, cool. All right, what about Liliana? Yeah. Hi, Zach. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing well, thank you. And you? I'm doing good, thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello, Siphon. Hello, Sai. How are you? I'm good, how about you? I'm doing okay. Awesome. Hey, Sir Red. Hey, Zach, thank you very much for asking. How are you? Doing sleepy, pretty sleepy. <laughs> what about you, Solomon? So, Solomon. Solomon? Hello. How are you doing? How are you, Solomon, Victor? And Yasin? Thanks, I'm doing good. What about you? I'm, I'm good. doing good. Thanks. Cool uh, picture, Victor. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's start. Uh, this is the World Geography and History English class. Uh, you guys are learning about Thailand. Um, I'm hearing some noise. Okay, there. Yeah. Somebody's microphone, I don't know. Okay, anyways. Thailand. You guys are learning about Thailand. Mm -hmm. um, so far, you guys have talked about the geography. You talked about the way and the alphabet. Yeah? Yes. Yep. And Phon. Uh, Phon is from Thailand, yeah. Or Thailand, sorry. Who is? Uh, Siphon. Oh, Siphon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm from Thailand. I'll be here. Awesome. How's the uh, how's the weather right now? It's uh, very hot. It's about um, 30 degrees Celsius. But I don't know how to convert that to Fahrenheit. 30 degrees yeah. Celsius. That's um, I think it's eighty six. Yeah, so it's nice and warm. Super nice. Cool. Yeah, the beach <coughs> looks beautiful. Do you live near the beach? Uh, no, I live near the um, national park. It, it is a really big in northeast of Thailand. So oh. many researchers do uh, research about Hornbill, Olifant, 
mm-hmm. and also the ribbon. Oh, cool. This is a really nice uh, floating lantern festival. Yeah, this lantern is uh, that. Um, that's a lot of uh, lantern in the north of Thailand. This of uh, building Roy Katong Festival. Cool. So you guys already talked about that. I love Thai food. So good. And you left off at Thai massage. At last time, did uh, Daniel talk about Thai massage yet? I don't think so. No, no, no. We we didn't talk about it. Okay. What's uh What's Thai massage all about? Is it a special kind of massage? Uh yes, they have a they have a very. A very. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, someone caught the kid. It's slowly messy. <laughs> um, yeah, the Thai massage is a uh, very popular for the tourists and also Western, because they have a different, different level to, to uh, press on your back or, or your 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 body. Maybe what that <laughs> how to say because uh, they will some if, if you like is very strong they will use the elbow yeah. to place on your back or your knees mm-hmm. or use their knees to put instead of hands mm-hmm. cool yeah. well uh, Thai massage says here is a system of massage and assisted stretching that was developed in Thailand and influenced by traditional medicine systems of India, China, and Southeast Asia. This form of body work is performed on the floor and the client wears comfortable shoes that allow for movement. No oils are used in Thai massage. So people are on the floor? Yes, they lay uh, they laid out on the mattress. It's cool, so you can get a lot of good um, knee and elbow in there. Yes. Cool. The mas- the massage recipient changes into loose, comfortable clothes. Lies on a flat mat or firm mattress on the floor. It can be done solo or in a group of a dozen or so patients in the same large room. The receiver may be positioned in a variety of yoga-like positions. Do you guys know yoga? Yes. Does anybody here do yoga? Yes, yes I did it. I I did it and now I um, changed to Pilates, but I did it yoga six months ago. Okay. Yes, it's great. Yep, really good for stretching mm-hmm. and getting stronger. Yes, to relax yourself as well. To breathe yeah. in a right way. Good meditation. Uh-huh. Yes. So there's a lot of positions and uh, they say poses in yoga. But it is not a a message, I think. It's no. Something like training. Yeah, it's like training your mind and body. And strong your body as well with uh, these positions. You can mm-hmm. strong your body. Yeah, it uh, helps to stretch. Mm-hmm. So uh, I could imagine being in a yoga type stretch would be would be good for the massage. Uh, but yeah, so deep, static, and rhythmic pressures form the core of the massage. Exactly. Uh, uh, please, uh, can you make it bigger? 
because I can't uh, read it. I can't see it. Okay. Uh -huh. So this the the rhythm and energized massage uh -huh. um, is supposed to leave the body feeling energized and rejuvenated after the massage. Do you uh, do you find that that is that's true, Siphon? Sorry. Do you find that to be true? If you get Thai massage, you feel energized. Uh, yes, it's very comfortable after it's stretching. But if you never do that before. Uh, uh, a few days after that, you may feel um, uh, muscle pain. Hmm. Yeah, but you can tell the that you can tell tell them that don't uh, uh, don't to do a very strong stretching. Okay. Usually, foreign usually usually foreign love to do a foot massage. Yeah, cool. Yeah, foot massage is supposed to be good for um, all different parts of your of your body and brain, I think. All right, who wants a massage? Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Me <too>. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can all agree. That'd be very nice. All right, what about, um, let's check out Muay Thai. Whoa, it's pretty intense. Has anybody ever watched Muay Thai boxing? No. No. What's the difference is the regular boxing from the so you can okay. you can use your uh, your legs it's like, a, like a kickboxing. Yeah, you so. can kick. You can knees, even the elbow. So Muay Thai is a combat martial art from Thailand that uses stand up striking along with various clinching techniques. Clinching, what's that? Mm, I tried to practice my Thai for a month. <laughs> oh yeah? How was that? Oh, it was the... Uh, <laughs> it's very hard. Yes, it's very hard and uh, my shin is uh, hurt for two or three months after practice my Thai. Sometimes you have a cut by the... Yes. <laughs> you have to have a very strong shin. Oh, wow, yeah. Uh, so, for me, I, for me, yeah. I really don't like it because it's really, really fighting. So that's a, that's clinching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't feel very good. It's like getting out of a hold. Like if somebody grabs you. All right, let's look at a. Let's look at some quick Muay Thai. Muay Thai destruction. Oh no. Dreadful. People get kicked in the head. Yeah. And that uh, chin. Oh, it's very Why? yeah. Uh. It's very dangerous. Yes. Uh, if some of them maybe well fall asleep in the air. <laughs> fall asleep <laughs> in the air. <laughs> <laughs> 
bad. It seems like people get beat up pretty bad. Yes. Siphon, is it so popular, this type of fighting sports in Thailand? Yes. Do I, do, does it have, I mean, yes, most of the people know this type of fighting sports, or...? Well, um, I, I don't understand too why it's very popular. Even the tourists like love to watching that too, and usually they have the they have that in the uh, on Sunday afternoon for for three hours on TV. Uh, I mean, uh, does most of the people, the most of the people, take this type of fighting sports classes to learn it no. or? No, just no, just, people. just, uh, yeah, just, uh, some Thai want to make money by doing that. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I like it, but, but I, I like the show, they have a show, that not, uh, just show, they did not really hit, or not really fight, but they have four show. Everything do the same thing, but, uh, just show. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So cool, yeah, this uh, this physical and mental discipline, which includes combat on foot, is known as the art of eight weapons because it's characterized by the combined use of the fists, the elbows, the knees, shins and feet being associated with a good physical preparation that makes a full contact fight very efficient. So Muay Thai became popular in the 16th century, but become widespread internationally only in the 20th century, when many Thai fighters won several victories over representatives of other martial arts. So it's just like such an intense martial art uh -huh. that uh, when other martial artists fought them, you know, they lost. So the Thai were, were very good fighters. I think a guy that very really well known that uh, the uh, Joe is his name. His name is Bo Kao. I don't know uh -huh. how to spell that in English. I think this guy. Yeah, Bo Kao. Is he a very famous Muay Thai boxer? Yes, I think many foreigners know him. Oh, cool. Alright, so let's see, what, others, what other sports? Takra. Yes. Wow, that's cool. It's like it's, a volleyball? <laughs> With, no, no, they use, they use, they use foot but it's, uh, and head, yeah. They, they can use all the part uh, of body, but except hand. But the net is is uh, at the same height as volleyball uh, net. Mm, no, no, that's uh, uh, yeah, the same with badminton. Mm, uh, badminton. Wow. Huh. It's really it looks, Yeah. <laughs> it looks really difficult. Who wants to play? No. Yeah. <laughs> I I used to try too, but uh, no, <laughs> I cannot. Because female can play that sport. Uh, the big uh, the big uh, competition is Malaysia, and that's, is that in Vietnam too, Vicky? Cool. Mm, yes, uh, we have this sport, but uh, uh, we don't call that talk. Tak what? Tak tak ro. Ah I don't know which pro tak ro in Thailand. Uh, so it's the it's not very popular here, but uh, we have strong team too, but uh, not good as Thailand. So Diogo, in Brazil, there's something like that called foot volley? Yeah, there is. We saw once in TV as well, there's championships and stuff. Cool, is it the, Is it just within Brazil? 
It's created by a former football player known as Romario. Okay. Cool. So it's kind of like rules of beach volleyball. Um, and there's ball touch rules from association football. So you can only use your can't use your hands. You can use your chest, your foot, your head. <laughs> That's so cool. I have to be very uh, agile. Yeah. Practice this sport. It's difficult to be that accurate with your feet. Yeah. Definitely is. Oh. So, uh, oh, Takara. Sorry. Okay. I want to see a YouTube video. I'd really like to watch a, <laughs> a game sometime. Wow. <laughs> the ball is over the city. Holy crap. Yeah, this one is very interesting too. They call that um, each team have to uh, create that and put uh, that all it into their basket. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! That is... What is the name of this sport? And fun. The claw. Can you type it, please? Okay. Actually, uh, from these people, uh, we can. I'm not sure. Uh, these people can be good soccer players, like striker. We should yeah. transfer and train them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some of them uh, play soccer before, and then after that, when they are over 35, they cannot run so fast. They will change from soccer to. That oh, that's really cool. If I, uh, they use similar skills. Awesome. Well, that's a really uh, intense and cool, cool sport. So, takra or kick volleyball is a sport native to the Malay Thai Peninsula. Takral differs from the similar sport of volleyball in its use of a rattan ball and only allowing players to use their feet, knee, chest, and head to touch the ball. So it's a popular mm -hmm. sport. Yes, the rattan is stronger than plastic too. If you are yeah, professional, they will use rattan instead of plastic takral. Oh, cool. Hey, well, how about the king? How is the king doing? Uh, he is uh, very well. Uh, this year he is about 84. 84, 85. He's got some nice fancy clothes. Uh, yes, that is for special. Really special, that like that his birthday on December 5th. December 5th. What are the white uh, white things on the on his shoulder? Looks like a, like a gift package. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rama is the name of the king. Uh, 
Do you know what these things are for? Uh, what, what are people? what are those for? Uh, I uh, I can't see it. The middle. The middle, like pick the road. Like the gift, the, the gift the, packages. Uh, the middle. Uh, <laughs> the middle. Uh, usually, that is the show about uh, his royalty. <laughs> We have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. The, the medal is uh, the medal is about what in the center? Uh, I'm not sure. I cannot say it really well, but that is true. Uh, related to religion and Buddhism, and also his uh, all loyalty, high highest loyalty, his family. Cool, cool. All right. So the current monarch of Thailand is His Majesty King Bumabal Atoyadej. The king has resigned since. Uh, the 9th of June, 1946, making him the world's longest reigning current monarch and the world's longest serving head of state. Most of the king's powers are exercised by his elected government. The king still retains many powers, such as being head of the royal Thai, armed forces, and the defender of the Buddhist faith in Thailand. So cool, does he come on TV? Like the the king and queen. Uh, nowadays they don't do that very much. They just let let his son and uh, daughter do that because they are uh, oh, okay. quite old. But Does he, he will he will uh, show that it's in uh, a very special day. Does he have a speech sometimes? Yes. When I think uh, last time that he gave a speech on his birthday. Well, every cool. every his birthday he will give a speech. Do people send him presents? Mm, no, no. They just uh come to the what the near the near the um, the uh, Rama Phi statue. Uh huh. It is uh, people that ride on the horse. We have we have that very big field there, and all um, all people will come to see him there. Hmm. Cool. All right. So Buddhism, Buddhist monks. Yes. Does anybody uh, practice Buddhism? No. No. Nobody. No. I like Buddhism. I've read a lot of books on it. Um, so I find it very interesting. I don't practice it regularly, but I like to read about meditation. And sometimes I like to do breathing techniques that uh, I've learned from some Buddhism. Yeah, breathe in and out. Mm -hmm. Try to concentrate with your breath. Yeah. So, Diogo, do you use breathing techniques? No, I don't practice as you as you said, but I like to read a lot too. Yeah. Uh, as I say, my my practice of uh, meditation is to riding a bike. You know, trying to free my mind while I while while I pedal. Cool. 
Yeah, I like to ride my bike um, a lot, actually. That's another form of meditation. If you think it is. <laughs> if if you, uh, I guess you can. You can you can meditate doing a bunch of different things. Uh, I don't normally meditate on my bike, though. I just uh, try and get to where I'm going. <coughs> no, I don't go anywhere wh while riding my bike. <laughs> just one spot. No, not like that. You know, I ride the side of the river, and I go back and forward, and don't really care when I'm going to stop. Oh, that's cool. All right. Um, let's see. I find Buddhism very interesting. What about the Thai Wat? What does the Thai Wat symbolize? Yeah. You mean a temple? Yeah, so it's a temple. Temple that uh, monks? Uh, put it and that it is a religion symbol right in Thailand. Cool. So if, yeah, if you come to Thailand, you will see the temple everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, one is true that uh, every man has to be a monk when they come to the age of 20. It's true. I'm sorry, Liana, it's very really hard to okay. hear you. Okay. Uh, I, I, I read. I, okay, I read that every man has to be a monk when they come to the age of twenty. It's read. Is it true? Sorry. Um. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh -huh. No, we don't do that every man. But I um, usually during monsoon, mm -hmm. they have to stay in the temple mm -hmm. because uh, during the uh, in Thailand, they call that rainy season, the monsoon. They call uh, the farmer. They already planted or they have they have to do a paddle, paddle, paddle field or rice field. If the monk then do not uh, stay at a uh, temple, they go into step on the uh, young plant that the rice that. Um, so after the monsoon, it's three months for monsoon. After that, they can go everywhere. Uh, okay, thank you, Fon. Okay. Saifan, these temples are usually uh, up in the mountains, like uh, on at the summit of the mountains, or usually normal on the ground, like like normal houses. Yeah, it's a, a normal. It's like a normal house, some of them may be on the mountain. If you see in some picture in Chiang Mai, they call it also tape. It's really up on top of the mountain because uh, some of the monks, they really want a very peaceful place for their meditation. They don't want yeah. people to come to see them. That's why we will have some temple on the top of the mountain. They look very cool. <laughs> yes. Very beautiful uh, scene, like landscape, peaceful. Yeah. At that you know temple, you will. Do you know yes. one of these names? Like, to look at pictures. Okay, so I see. Uh, you have to be at least 20 years old to become a monk. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. If they are too very young uh, boy, like the 8 to 10, they, that we don't call he is a monk. He's just training to be a monk. Uh -huh. he, if you want to do a monk, you have to do that again when they are 20. The little boy that do that some special or he want to try to change for their parent for a while. 
but actually they should do that when they are 20. So becoming a monk is, it a, is intended as a way to attain a goal for oneself or one's family. So let's, uh, yeah, uh, right. let's uh, check this some, out. Oh, go okay. ahead. Sometimes they want to be a monk that they have to learn, have to learn to be Christian um, before they start a new family. Right, if they should uh, uh, be a monk when they're 20 before they get married. Mm -hmm. That they have to have, have to prepare himself. Mm -hmm. That they can prepare themselves to mature enough to take care of his family. Uh, that's cool. Well, Buddhism in Thailand, it says here, nearly 95% of Thailand's population is Buddhist of the Theravada school. Though Buddhism in this country has become integrated with folk beliefs as well as Chinese religions from the large Thai Chinese population, Buddhist temples in Thailand are characterized by tall golden stupas and the Buddhist architecture of Thailand is similar to that in other Southeast Asian countries, particularly Cambodia and Laos, with which Thailand shares cultural and historical heritage. Important to Western impressions of Buddhism is that Buddhists of all kinds do not pray to a statue, but use the statue or painting of Buddha as a focus for their prayerful good wishes for all living things and exalting over Buddhist ideals. Buddhists use water as an offering to symbolically represent giving up some worldly things, and water is chosen because even the most poor person can obtain water to carry out the ceremony. So a wat is a monastery temple in Thailand, Cambodia, or Laos. The word wat means school. So it's a school. Interesting. Yeah, I think they're really nice. I like the way that a lot looks. In um, in the past, uh, some some of uh, local people they don't have enough money to go to school. At uh, some the boys, they uh, being uh, training monks to learn, but to to learn from the monks in the temple how to read that. So usually they will learn um, Sanskrit. Mm -hmm. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. Sanskrit? Sanskrit and, yeah. That's writing? That, um, yeah, writing and reading Sanskrit from the uh, temple. Oh, cool. Is it like religious text? Yes, like Holy Bible. Oh. Do you have to shave your head to be a monk? Um, uh, to be a monk is only a male. That's what I understand you so bad. No, no. Yeah. I mean, question. all the monks are bald. Do you have to shave your shave your head to be a monk? I don't understand. What can you say again, please? All, all, all the monks have to, uh, to shave uh, their head. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, no, yeah. It's a requirement to be a, a monk. Yeah, they have to uh, shape. Yeah, they have to <laughs> do a skin hair. <laughs> Are there other religions besides uh, Buddhism in Thailand? Yes, they have Muslim and also some Chinese. But they got Tao. Mm -hmm. um, and also some of um, Japanese, but mostly uh, uh, Buddhism because uh, we share culture with um, Laos, Cambodia, Myanmar. Mm -hmm. They are 
this uh, this country are quite uh, similar uh, about the temple to the pagoda are uh, going to be quite really similar architecture. Oh, cool. Let's take a let's take a look at Bangkok. Yes, city angel. So Bangkok is the capital city of Thailand and the most populous city in the country. <coughs> it is known in Thai as if you'll if you'll help me. How do I say that? Bangkok. Uh, Saifan. Krung. Yes. Krung Tep. Krung Tep. Yeah. Um, that's that's right. I, I I can see your text. Krung Tep. Maha Nakon. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Krung Tep Maha Nakon. Actually, it's very, really a long name, but it's so beautiful. Yeah. Or just. Krung Tep Maha Nakon Amon. Yeah. Krung Tep Maha Nakon Amon Lakthana Krusin Mahin Thala Yutthayam Hadilok Pop Naparat Lashatani Buri Lom Udom Lashanivet Maha Satan Amon Piman Avatan Satit. It's not in. But oh. I have to stop. <laughs> wow. So is, is so it like a... That's why, yeah, that's why we call only Kung Tep. <laughs> is it like a poem or a story? Yes, a poem. Oh, wow. I really like the way that sounds. Siphon, the sculpture in the temples, you know? You have sculptures in temples. Does it symbolize a specific thing like God or monks or something else? Um, the sculpture usually means the, the, the heaven. Could be, uh, I think the heaven they divide into seven levels. But I couldn't remember all the levels. Like a Buddhist stava? Yes. Yeah, so those are... Uh, like a famous pe uh, person? A Buddhist stava is... Uh, here, I'll look it up for you real quick. Buddhist stava. They're the, the statues. It's like a, a baby Buddha. So it's one. Um, this tower. It, it, it's like one who has reached enlightenment. So, you know, people build. Um, People build those those little statues to 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 remember, I guess, um, people that are, that also became Buddhas. Not like the Buddha, but other people, I guess. Yes, uh, can you share the screen with us, please, uh, Zach? Because we can't. See. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no more. So Buddha Stava. Um, so when someone has reached the sixth level of initiation, mm -hmm. that's the Buddha Stava stage. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's just a, a certain stage in the evolution of consciousness, like however far you've gotten in um, in the in the order like of being a monk, I guess. Yeah. These monks are always in temples, or do they have another jobs or something? Siphon. Um, I was on mute. Um, no, no, not not. Not only in the temple, people can have that one too. So, so they have normal jobs, and after job they go to the 
temple. Uh, I don't understand what a job. Is is it their job? Is it, is it their job to be a monk? They have no and other responsibility. You mean a monk in a uh, temple? Yeah. Do they do they live there and eat there and sleep there? Yes, they sleep. Uh, well, and then they if uh, if people come to ask him to do business, yeah, they will. You can go to a house or some place, or go to school, or go to university to do to do that job. Okay, so they so being a monk is like a job. Yeah, so they do service outside the temple too. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do do they get paid to be a monk? Yes, yeah. Uh, when when we ask them to do that outside to serve it outside the temple, we give them money, give them monk money. But depend on you, okay? It's up to you. They don't ask for money, but yeah. we will willing to give them. So it's like a donation. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's cool. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, I want to ask a question to Mandela. Mandela. Uh, sorry. Uh, um, Stephen. Sorry. Stephen, is it? I'm pronouncing. You. Hello. Yusuf? Yeah. I want to ask a question to Mrs. Stephen. Stephen? About uh, the Buddha. I mean, uh, yeah. The monk, like to reach in that state, like uh, I mean, it depends on each or it's on like how long you've been in a in the in the, in the temple or how you practice or how you worship. How does it look like him to reach to be a monk? Uh, it's up to you. Sometimes they can take uh, do that only one week, two weeks, three months. Or forever. Some of them do oh. that one week. So uh, uh, okay. So it doesn't depend on age. Like it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't depend on age. Like like so I saw some. Uh, nearly, I used to live in Malaysia, so there was a quite like a. Uh, in a, you know Buddhist temple, then I saw like uh, I asked some questions. Some of them, so some of them they told me like it depends on the some sometimes on the how you worship, how you you know, and they are kind of stage. And then who who decide? I mean like who give you this title? Like that's my my question. Who give you the title like to be a monk, like uh, like someone some other people can consider you a monk. Um, normally, Hello? you decide yourself, yes, or uh, some yeah. of them parent as uh, their son to do that before they get married, or when they are 20, uh, sometimes their parent ask them to be a monk, and because they believe they can, uh, after, the, after they die, or parents die, they believe that we have a a better life in the ne uh, next life. Okay, reincarnation. Yeah, so reincarnation. Just... Yeah. Right. Right, thank you. Welcome. Yeah. Cool. Um. Yes. Let's uh. Let's check out more about Bangkok. Um, so the city occupies 1,568.7 square kilometers in the Chao Phraya River Delta in central Thailand and has a population of over 8 million or 12.6 percent of the country's population. Over 14 million people, that's 22.2 percent, live within the surrounding Bangkok metropolitan region. 
making Bangkok an extreme primate city, dwarfing Thailand's other urban centers in form of in terms of importance. So it's really important. Yeah, it is a very big hub in Asia. Yeah, yeah I've been in, uh, uh, you know, Sarawak. And no, Sarawak is called Malaysia. And in Sarawak. Uh, what about? And I'm uh, still here, actually. Oh, okay. So, yeah, uh, she asked me, yeah, she asked me where I've been. Okay. Hi, Yes. Okay. <laughs> Siphon? Yes. Did you ask yes. uh, Yusuf a question? Uh, no, I, it's really hard to understand what we call it. The connection not very good. Uh, yeah, sometimes it's, it's up here. Mm -hmm. um, so you're still living in in Thailand, Saifan. Where do you live? I live in Nakhon Ratchasima. It's outside Bangkok. Nah, how do I spell? Okay, I will try it then. It's, out, it's about 230 kilometers from Bangkok. Do you really like it there? Yes, because there uh, no traffic. And I live really close to the campus that I work. Uh, it takes about 5 or 10 minutes uh, from my house to the campus. But if I live in Bangkok, even though the uh, my house far from the uh, my office about 15 kilometers so I takes about one or two hours to work mm. it's really bad traffic in Bangkok yeah <laughs> that's pretty terrible what about uh is this in your city um I think that's in uh, Utaya. We call that Wat Chai Wat Oh. What, what is it in Fon? Yeah. Are you to ya? Are you to ya is still central of Thailand. It's near Bangkok. Yeah. So what's your favorite thing about Thailand? Um, usually I I love uh, National Park. Mm. Uh, I know foreign uh, tourists love to come to the beach to see the beautiful beach in Thailand, the southern of Thailand. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Um, I always see pictures. Um, it's really nice. I went to um, the only place in Southeast Asia I visited was Bali. Do you know Bali? Yes, that's in Indonesia. Yeah, in Indonesia. And uh, the beach was uh, very beautiful. It was nice. It's very popular for um, foreigners. Yeah, it was um, super touristy, <laughs> but it was very, yeah. it was very inexpensive to to go there. So, um, if you could travel anywhere and spend a day in Thailand, uh, in, in a city or somewhere, where would you go? Mm. I'll go to Chiang Mai. So, on your on your free day or your day off, um, you'd want to spend the day in.
Chiang Mai. Why would you like to yeah. be here? Uh, the weather is uh, uh, the weather is not really hot. Uh, in the city and I live is really hot and dry. But um, in Chiang Mai, I uh, in Chiang Mai is a uh, very nice uh, national park and also they have the jungle or trick trick. Uh, you can uh, riding on elephant to to play with water or to go uh, more far away from the uh, city. Cool. It's yeah, more it's... adventure. It's very more adventure and more, more adventure activity to do in Chiang Mai. Yeah, it looks like it. It looks beautiful. Uh -huh. yeah. If you uh, go up to Doi Sutep, you will see downtown Chiang Mai. Oh, there's tigers. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> uh, in the Chiang Mai, they have uh, many mountains. So when they do, uh, uh, they when they plant rice, they have to do a uh, step, like a staircase. They have to plant like that. Uh, that yeah. can keep uh, water or slow down water. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, like little rice rice patties. Yes. I like the the houses. It's like a tree house. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. So beautiful. Yeah. So let's check out a Island tree house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's oh, nice. Wow, cool. <laughs> Do you know anyone that lives in a tree house? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> I think it's a day I made that for tourists. Yeah, that's really cool. A romance treehouse. <laughs> For a honeymoon. So, uh, yeah, uh, to, to, to learn how to beat um, Tarzan. <laughs> Me and my girlfriend want to live in a treehouse. I think the view was uh, great. <laughs> yeah. Um, usually we have a very tall house uh, that have uh, nothing and uh, because that to avoid when we have a big crowd. Yeah, like if a monsoon comes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So is it very humid in the mountains? Yes, it's very humid all over Thailand. Uh, last time with Daniel said that he after he exercise and take a bath he wet again. <laughs> wow, cool! So you don't get any snow there. No, but no, you can no see the uh, ice. I see the, uh, in the early morning uh, when you are at the top of the mountain. Mm -hmm. And the hills sometimes. Awesome. Well, Saifan, you've been amazing for this class. Thank yeah. you so much for answering all of our questions and telling us all about Thailand. Welcome, You're really very welcome. Very interesting. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, yeah. very welcome. If you have a channel, don't hesitate to call me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> I will be a good tour guide. <laughs> Cool. I'll let you know if I'm if I'm ever in Thailand. I'll give you a call. Okay. Okay. <laughs>
and there you, you will have a chance to try many things here because you have special tracker. I can negotiate or deal a price for you. <laughs> 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 and also free hotel, even though it's not close to five stars, but you will have free hotel. <laughs>